Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so I am in this new virtual box with Ubuntu Linux environment that I built uh, last night and um, with Eclipse IDE. Now this is Eclipse CDT, C Developers Tool, that's what it stands for. You download it, I'll show you how to do that. Now, the difficulty with Eclipse, which can be really, um, I don't know, over-engineered, and it just doesn't simplify the creation of just a simple C++ project. So I'm going to show you how to do it, like a simpler way. Now, I'm in this project here that I just created. I'm going to show you how um, a tip, a very quick, easy tip. Now, here we're going to have a uh, new C++. I'm going to call this uh, test me project. Now, make sure you, you choose a Linux GCC. And the other thing is, create this. It'll make your life a hell lot easier. Uh, the hello world as just as, as, as a way, and I'll show you why. Because otherwise it just gets really stupid and just bonk, bonk, bonkers. You're going to drive yourself nuts. So, once it's uh, created through the finish, what will happen is, um, where am I? Uh, let me just close this guy and uh, this guy as well. Okay, so we have test me here, this project. We have now source file that's automatically created and all the necessary include files. So they get properly created as you need them. If you try to do it manually, you're just going to drive yourself nuts especially if you're new at this. So in my case, I could bring over, um, let's say some source code here, and it will kind of automatically detect all the correct um, functions and whatnot. So if I save it, you'll see here, you'll get all these errors. Now, there's different ways to go about it. Uh, I close up this guy. Okay, so you come under here, right click, and then there should be a clean somewhere, a clean project. So as you can see, all those <clears throat> errors disappear, right? So now we've cleared, uh, cleaned everything. Hopefully, I can build, build project. So now it's using the GCC is what we want, and it says, Build, uh, the, the build is finished here, as you can tell. Now this is where it gets really tricky. You want to run it as a local application. Now let's hope, let's just see what happens under the run configuration. So if I come under uh, test me, like this thing is just full of moronic bugs. It's, it's pretty, pretty bad, uh, if you ask my opinion. But hopefully, um, this this will like I should see my updated uh, test me project in here in this list here and obviously you don't see it um, so it's just another trials and tribulations of of uh, Eclipse unless there's a trip to it that I don't know but let's just try to run this and see what happens for executable so nothing so you saw that message um, but now it's gonna run okay cool so it is running everything as I want which I've shown in the past so now I think everything's good to go but you can see automatically here that using the hello world template will save your little ass um, and I think that's the simplest way to do it um, and then you can just add all your necessary little console apps. This is just for a console app that is in C++. I find that's probably the easiest to go about doing this. Now, for those that are new in, in Eclipse, there's these two perspectives here. Note here, if you want to debug, um, you can do that. But uh, So if I'm under uh, test me, uh, there's different ways to go about it. Um, let me see here. Uh, we have
have uh, no I haven't really played a lot with this but if I do a debug on this hopefully it should properly set up my debug perspective nothing to do at all okay let's see if it should it not um, yeah so it's, it's now into the debugger so let, let's let me just set a breakpoint here now you have to go back into the C++ perspective here so let's say if I set a breakpoint here so I'm not sure if this, yeah, so you want to toggle your breakpoint, let's say. So you got this little green dot here. So if I go under uh, that debug as I showed earlier, um, let's see here, let's see, okay. So it's going into debug all building, okay. So it's loading up under the hood, the GDB. So now it's asking us to go into the debug perspective, which is correct. Really slow for some reason. So we have down here our console. This is where our GDB, GDB uh, G debugger um, console is. So that's that is a good thing. I mean, all the other IDEs do this. So I believe have we hit? Okay, I think we just hit our first. So we are at our first. Uh, this this green line is the execution point in the C plus plus. So we've hit our first breakpoint. So if you come under here under um, step over, I like to do with not disconnect. There, yeah, there's a step over. So there we go. So now we can fool around as if it's in the uh, running mode. So there you go. So you can see all your um, what's on the stack, all that cool stuff. So I believe I have to go. Okay, so now yeah, I see what's going on. So we're now at this input, which we just did, and you have to manually. Um, you have two options: just manually step into, or no, we don't want that. Uh, step over, and so on and so forth, like any traditional debugger. But it is strange to work with this IDE. <laughs> like, but. But once you get rolling, it's pretty good. It is very kind of overwhelming, I think. Uh, so I'll just do a continue, resume. Okay, there we go. So we can just continue along our way. At any point, you can put your breakpoints. Yeah. And then just do one more. And uh, looks like we're all done. Yeah. So if you want to end, you can end your debugging session here. And then see it doesn't take you into the C++ perspective back in your code but uh, there you go so that's how you can kind of work with the Eclipse the beast that it is um, in Java it's a lot less fun than C++ but so far I think that's probably the smartest way to do it from my perspective in C++ now um, we'll see what happens but this is on Linux as, as you know okay hopefully this will help you out bye for later